How's it going everyone? I'm Carson Schiffsky and today we're talking about a few simple steps you can take to make sure your plows and your plowing equipment last a little bit longer. So I'm going to start off by saying if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are making a bunch of lawn care, snow plowing, and mostly landscaping videos. Right now it is winter here in Minnesota, so most of our content will be snow plowing related. So if you want to see more videos like this one or like the other ones on our channel, hit that subscribe button. So first thing we're going to talk about is just greasing the plows. I've had a lot of people talk to me or ask me when I was greasing the plows like, oh, I didn't know you could grease those. Where all can you grease them from or something like that. And the simple truth is, I guess a lot of people just don't know that. But basically, we can grease the main column here. They've got little holes in there where you can stick the special tool that we have. Um, looks like it's made by Legacy, and it's called the Lube Link. Uh, basically, it's got a little pointy end on it, and then the other end just hooks up to your normal, it's got a normal grease cert on it, to hook up to your grease gun like we have here. So as you can see, this is the tool here. Basically, it's got the end that goes into the plow. This has just got a pointy end on it. And then this end here is your standard grease zert. And then we take the end of the grease gun, basically plug it into the grease zert, obviously, and then slide this column piece over. Then we can go ahead and just stick that into the plows there, and the grease will come out into the main column. You can see every single centerpiece has got a grease area in it. You can see where I've already greased. They each have independent holes to grease all the way up and down the front of this plow. And this is obviously only on B plows they'll have this because this is the point of turning and swiveling in the front of the plow. Now although it's not necessary to do, we usually take a little bit of white lithium grease at the beginning of each season and we put a little bit of grease on this pin here on each side of the cylinder. Same on the bottom pin. And then at the end of these springs here where it goes metal to metal contact on the plow or any painted surfaces. This is not necessary to do like I said, however we do it because putting a little grease on there where there's going to be metal on metal rubbing and chipping paint off will A, help keep the plow from squeaking as much, keep it a little bit quieter, and then B, it'll also prevent corrosion and things of that nature as you are plowing in salt and whatever else at the time. Now a couple other things we do that I have heard different stories about is we run shoes on all of our plows as you can see here. Now some people say they can't run shoes because they need to have a perfectly clean lot, um, etc. things like that and I disagree that shoes make a lot any dirtier than just running the straight blade or something like that. Basically what we do is at the beginning of each season we adjust the shoes. We put the blade on the ground, um, having the shoes adjusted to where they have a lot of play in them, and we just kind of tighten it up from there, but we don't ever get it to where the blade sits off the ground. We get it to the point where the shoes have got a little bit of slack in them, and then the blade will actually wear down to the height of the shoes, and then they'll both be at the same height, allowing for a very clean finish, yet not putting maximum pressure and grinding force on the blade itself. Um, as you can see here, there is a little bit of play in this shoe. However, I can't actually move it up and down. I can just twist it side to side. So that is one thing we do there. Um, you can see over here in the middle, the middle shoe should probably be adjusted because it does have a little bit of a gap underneath there. However, this is a slanted floor going to a drain, so it might be because of that. Usually we put the plows open um, to a straight blade formation on a flat surface out on the driveway or somewhere very flat. Um, tilt the trucks at an angle in here so they're not sitting in the middle of the drain. That could also account for as to why there's a gap there. So another thing we like to do is have the controllers mounted on the door here. This is by far the most comfortable position. You can have one hand on the controller, the other hand running the steering wheel, and then the gear selector. Also, you don't have the controller just laying around loosely in the cab, getting kicked around when people get in and out of the truck. And then it's also just on a piece of Velcro, so when it's not in use, we don't have to plow in the truck, we can just take it off from there and then stick it to the dash here on another piece of Velcro. 
that is yet even more out of the way so it is less likely to get bumped into or somebody driving with the windows down not needing the plow on gets water on it or something of that nature. Now other than doing grease, um, doing the white lithium grease and having the shoes on, the number one other thing you guys can do to obviously prevent these plows from going to hell is just washing them after every time you use them. Every time we get done using the plows or the trucks or the trailer or the skid loader, anything that's been out in a snowstorm where there's salt and chemicals on the road, we wash them every single time without hesitation. I do not care if it's gonna snow the next day because the second those chemicals hit your truck with that water, they start to corrode the metal. And then the second they get pulled into the shop, into that warm area, if you have a heated shop, then that speeds up that corrosion process even faster. So washing the plows and then greasing this area here, if you have a V-plow, is by far the number one best way to help maintain these plows and make sure they're around for the long run. So if you guys liked the video, like I said earlier, hit that subscribe button and that like button. And then let me know in the comments below what you guys do to help maintain your plows and help extend the life expectancy of your equipment and plows in particular. I'd really like to see what other guys are doing, um, some tips and tricks to get more life out of the cutting edges, things like that. I've heard of people doing all kinds of different things. So let me know in the comments below what you guys do. 